clutch trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience. That's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Uh, Alright, uh, it's an unboxing of my Philips uh, Norelco Shaver 2500. Ah. Um, when I was home last time, my youngest son Ben, who's 15, is now needing to start how to, to sh worry about shaving. So I, uh, you know, did like I did with my older son Justin, showed him how to use the, the shaving cream, be nice and clean, shave every day and you'll always look keen. Uh, and with a blade, you know, because everyone needs to know how to do that. But I've always used an electric shaver since I was like 15 myself. I've gone through so many of them. I've gone through Norelco's, I've gone through Remington's, I've had Braun's, uh, B-R-A-U-N, and the last one I had was this one I bought because my last, I think it was a Remington I had, that died on me while I was on the road, and I bought this uh, Barbasol for uh, 20 bucks at a pilot, and it lasted me for over a year. You know, I figured I got my money's worth. Problem, I, I had problems with it, let me tell you. For one, it took forever to charge the damn thing. Uh, I was used to my Remington's or Norelco's before where when I am uh, in, go into the truck stop to take my shower, I uh, shave first, then I plug it in, then I brush my teeth, and, you know, do other stuff, blah, 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 then go get in the shower, come back out, and usually that gave it enough time to charge so it was ready for the next time. That Barbasol one, no, that wasn't the case. I had to remember to plug it back in when I got back in the truck, which I forgot half the time. Then the other thing I hated about it is you couldn't use it plugged in. You could plug it in, but it wouldn't run just corded. So I was like, okay, I, I need to upgrade. I need to get my son one. So I uh, went on Amazon, and I've had Norelco's before. I've had Remington's before. I've had Bronze before. Um, so I got I, I got the Norelco 2500 right here. See, uh, no, yeah, Philips Norelco 2500. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> for a couple of very specific reasons. One, it will uh, run corded, so if, it, if you forget to charge it, you can just plug it in and use it, okay? Two, it's got the, um, the what is it, Con convenient fast, uh, fast charge right here. Eight times fast charge, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it should charge it up enough while I'm just in the shower for my next use. That was the whole point. So let's look at the box first. Naroko, uh, yes, 2500. It says here, uh, 4D flex heads, ooh, uh, pop-up trimmer. I have to have the pop-up trimmer because I've got the mustache I gotta trim. All right, uh, fully washable, uh, fine. Uh, ba powerful battery, well, I should hope so. Uh, and 45 minute rechargeable runtime. And it says here on the side, this cracks me up right here. Okay. Um, Cordless and corded shaving, up to 45 minutes of cordless shaving after a one hour charge or use plugged in for instant power. Uh, I, don't, I don't need to shave for 45 minutes. That's a long time. If you have to shave for 45 minutes, I think you got other issues. I'm just saying. One other thing I hated about that Barbasol one, the light stayed green when it was plugged in even though it was fully charged. You never knew when it was fully charged. This says right here, one level battery indicator, uh, light signals when battery is full, low, or charging. Yeah, I want that. I want to know when it's done charging. So this has got a few extra little features that I wanted. Uh, more than the Barbasol one, this was $49, okay? 50 bucks off Amazon. Not bad. I Believe me, I, I am 54 years old. In all my years, I have had, like I say, Norelco's, uh, Remington's, uh, Bronze, and... Um, None of them are great. None of them last all that long. You shouldn't expect to get much more than a year or two at most out of one of these things. So it's not worth spending a lot of money on them. Just get the few features you want. Like uh, this has all the features I want for only 50 bucks. If I get two years out of it, great. Uh, that's all I'm looking for because none of them last all that long. And then you, and you gotta change out uh, about a year. You gotta change out the blades. And you know what I found out? The blades are almost as much as just buying a new damn shaver. 
I'm telling you. Okay, but like I say, this has all the features I want. Fast charge, you can use it corded. Uh, the indicator tells you when it's charged. Got the pop-up trimmer, which I require. Uh, and 50 bucks, not too bad, okay? So, kind of worth doing. And, uh, you know, it shows all the little features on the side. Like I say, corded, uh, cordless pop-up trimmer, level battery, one touch open for the pop-up trimmer. Like what, if it was, of course it's gonna be one touch. On the back, comfort blades. Comfort blades, okay. Uh, 4D flex heads, it's supposed to move around your chin and stuff. Well, I should hope so. Uh, and a pop-up trimmer, it says right there, see, pop-up trimmer. And fast one hour charge. That's one of the main reasons I got this one. So let's crack this puppy open. They never make getting into these very easy. They, they love putting these little circle tape things on there, you know, which you have to try to ply out and usually and see what happens. Look, the box is just falling apart. So I'm trying to pull off the stupid circle tape. And so I'll try to, and again, the box is falling apart. <laughs> but all I'm trying to do is just get the freaking uh, Now I ripped the box. Okay, so we, there's no easy way to get into this. What I usually end up doing is just basically ripping the damn thing apart. All right, there we, oh, see, it's all, it's hinged. Like, do we need that? Okay, and so here it is. Oh, it's in its little own thing that's, okay. So there you go. So there's the main shaver. What else do we have in here? We have, ooh, oh, it has a, a, a carry bag. That stupid tack shaver I bought had a carry bag too, which was useless. That tack shaver, by the way, I, I threw away that I had to buy with points at the Petro in Bordentown. See, it's again, kind of a cheesy little bag, little drawstring bag. I'll show you one thing I've kept from one of my old Remingtons. Got this bag with one of my Remingtons that I bought probably 10 to 12 years ago. It's actually kind of a, a usable bag. It's got a zipper, and then, you know, you can keep your little cleaning tools inside and everything. I have used, I have kept this bag, even though I lost, the shaver I had with, that came with this bag, I haven't had in like, like I say, 10 to 15 years. I, I keep this bag, I'm probably gonna put this shaver into this bag, because it's a good bag. It's a hell of a lot better than this cheesy little, hello. Okay, we have the plug-in charger. Pretty self-explanatory. One that actually plugs into the wall. Uh, what's this? Oh, we have the plastic cover, protective cover for the heads. And then we have, you know, the instructions. I plug it in, I charge it, I stick it on my face. I don't really need to read these. Now, this is like a kid's toy. Does it really need to be securely in there like this where we can't get it out? Look, look at this maintenance on the back with this thing. And how the hell am I supposed to get the friggin' thing out of the... Right, I, 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 oh, it's running. Okay, I got it out of this stupid... Please. Yeah. Do, do we need this much security on the damn thing? All right, here it is. Okay. That's what it looks like. It's got the pop-up trimmer on the back. One touch. Oh, one touch operation. Uh, Phillips and Aralco. And uh, it actually has a charge right now. See? Ooh. Ooh. You hear it? You hear it shaving? I just had a shower last night. But look. Ah, oh, yes. You can hear it doing its job. Ah. Alright, so yeah, see, there you go. There's the flex heads. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there you go. It shaves. That's all I care about. That's got kind of an orange light at the bottom. Oh, probably telling me it needs to be charged. Uh, plugs in right there at the bottom with the cord. You can pop the... Oh, this one has a hinge. My, on that cheesy uh, Barbasol one, the whole thing came out. This one pops up like, you, like a Muppet. Hello, how are you? I'm the road cow, Mr. Shaver. Oh, yes, do you love me? Oh. 
and you can see the heads flex, blah, blah, blah. And there's the little pistons that run the whole thing. Like I say, you hit the pop-up trimmer, and you can trim. Oh, okay. So that's all I needed to do. Trim, shave, and charge quickly. So it seems like this is gonna do the job. So like I said, I just shaved last night. But you can hear it getting stuffed at that Barbasol didn't get area. This is where I was, you have to look like Robert De Niro to get certain shape to get your cheek stretched out. You talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm the only one here. Okay, so you can take then the little cover out of this plastic bag. Why does everything have to come in a little plastic bag? All right, whatever. Okay, so then when you're done shaving, you take your little cover and you. Maybe I don't have it on right. Maybe it only goes on one way. Uh, I don't know. There it is. So then you don't accidentally shave yourself, I guess, when you don't want to. Like in the middle of the night, oh my god, I'm shaving! What the hell am I doing? Ah! Well, what else is there to show you? It's a, it's a freaking a rotary shaver. So there you go. There's the unboxing. You're welcome. So, you see what I'm going to do with it is uh, take this old Remington bag, which is actually useful, and I'm going to take this stupid bag they gave me, forget about that. So I will use the same old Remington bag, because I bet you it'll fit in here. Uh, so I take the shaver, I'm going to stick it in the bag. See, oh, it fits in so lovely, doesn't it? And then I can take my charging cord and stick that in right next to it here in the bag. And then... I can just zip the whole damn thing up. See, and I'll keep that in my shower bag, all ready to go every time. See, they used to give you extra really good accessories, like this little pouch bag that really was worth something. So I've kept this over the years for all the newer shavers I bought, and I'm still using it to this day. So that goes in my uh, shower bag, and it's ready to go for the next time I need it. Okay, I just plugged in my Norelco and it's flashing blue right now, which I assume means it is charging. We'll see what happens when it's fully charged. Okay, so uh, yeah, when it was charging, it was kind of like bluish around there, remember? Then it turned kind of white around there, and then after it was fully charged, the light goes completely out. Great, that's what I want. So it did its job. So there you go, fully charged, all ready to go. The uh, Norelco 2500. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's look at it, look at it. Be amazed by it. Be thrilled by it. So for 50 bucks, it's a decent shaver. <clears throat> I, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to show anything else inside because it shaves. Yeah, you know, this is all you need to know. It works. Uh, hopefully, it'll last me a couple of years for 50 bucks. So if you figure you get two years out of it, 25 bucks a year, not a bad deal. There you go. So, seeing as how we're, uh, this is Monday the 14th of uh, June 2021, Father's Day next Sunday, so if you're looking for a gift for Dad, you can never go wrong with a shaver, you know? People always, it ties, you know, I don't wear ties, you know, if you, if you want to get your dad a freaking tie, get him a tie. He could probably use the shaver a lot more, okay? So get him the shaver. So that would make a good Father's Day gift. So if you're watching this now before Father's Day and you have a father to buy one for, or if you are a father and you want one, just say, here's my Father's Day gift, it's for me. I bought it for me, thank you. Take care of number one, baby. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the Norelco 2500. Uh, I know Rusty uh, was thrilled by it. <laughs> I have a trimmer. Some people have asked, well, why don't I just home trim Rusty? I have one of those pet grooming kits at home. It's just the poor dog looks like somebody just took a knife and butchered him. I do a terrible job. I've done it a couple of times out of necessity, but anyway. So, hope you like the unboxing of that. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, please like and comment if you would like to. Uh, ring the bell for notifications so you know when new, new videos come out or you know when we go live. Uh, don't forget about Clutch Trucker at Twitter, Clutch Trucker at Instagram, uh, and as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty.
out. This is no longer a vacation. It's a quest. A quest for fun. All right, the race is off. He's eyeing that begging strip, and he's about to go leaping for it. All right, Rusty, leap for your begging strip. You've done your job. Come on. Yes, newsreel footage. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Rusty Doll. 